So I never actually finished installing the exhaust on the Vader. So what I'm gonna do now is remove this rear diffuser so I can get to the area back there. I have it lifted up on the jacks. So I'm gonna finish installing the rest of the exhaust. That way I have the areas lined up so I can cut the holes in the rear diffuser here. And then I can start doing body work and finishing this panel since that's all that needs done is those holes. And then I can do all the Bondo and paint and everything. So I'm gonna get the rest of this installed. I'll show you how it sounds afterwards. I just have a few more pieces to get up in there. And it should sound a lot different, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be good or bad. Keep in mind, I'm not keeping these mufflers. I'm going to be cutting those and replacing them with just resonators so it will be louder. But for now, I'm just gonna get this up there and installed so I have the proper placement for the holes. Right, so we finally got the rest of the exhaust installed just runs down here goes over the bar here and so you lay it into the hangers down here pretty simple put some wd-40 on and they just slide right in i'm gonna lower it back down in a second and start it up so we can hear what it sounds like one thing i still have to replace is this support bar in the middle. I have to find out the exact name of it, part number, and order a new one, because mine is pretty rusty, so I'm gonna get a new one of those. But for now, I'm just gonna put it down and show you guys what the exhaust sounds like. All right, so I messed up while taking the hoses off of the quick jack. I forgot to depressurize the lines before I disconnected them, so now I can't get the fittings back on. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to get them back together and I'll let you guys know what I do. But if you're doing this at home, just depressurize the lines, just plug it in, press the down uh, button on the controller right there and it'll let all the pressure out of the lines before you disconnect. You lower the car down, had a little bit of spilling going on. So we're gonna pull out the car and I'm gonna show you the cold start and everything. Then we're gonna pull it outside and let it warm up. And I'll give it a few little revs. It got dark. So we can't really drive around the neighborhood right now, but I'll do that in a different video. For now, I'm just gonna start up, show you guys how it works, or how it sounds, and just, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Here's Matt and Luke. Big thanks to them for helping us out. All right, now time for the cold start. Okay, so it's been a couple days and I got in the mail the fuel line for the Vader. I already opened it just to make sure it was the right thing. And it pretty much just comes in the box, just the tube. Uh, I'm gonna pull it out and then show you what it is and everything. And then I'm gonna tell you where I got it because it's a little hard to find the right tubing and everything. So give me a sec, I'll pull that out and show you guys what it is. Okay, so here's the tube out of the box. As you can see, it's fuel neck supply co and it's just a fuel fill line one inch uh, pretty thick wall on it as you can see so i'm just going to cut the metal tube in there and fit this over both ends i got five and a half feet of the tubing i measured it before i ordered you buy it by the inch and i measured about four and a half feet so i got an extra foot just in case so this is going to run from it's about there in the inside of the car from the uh, metal line there. It's going to run all the way over to the middle here. We have to like go around some different corners and stuff in there. So it needs to be a little bit longer than just a straight line. And obviously we got the extra line too. So we're going to get the kit off the car. And when the kit is off the car, we're trying to do two things at the same time. We're going to try to reroute the gas line and while we're doing that we also want to install the inner rear fender liners because those both have to be done before we install the kit permanently so once we have those two things installed 
we'll be putting the glue down on the tabs that we put everywhere and bolting this kit down and gluing it down to the roll cage and then we can actually start doing permanent installations of stuff such as the taillights, the splitter on the bottom and just all this other stuff we can start permanently putting it together. So I'm going to get this outside and pull the kit off again and that might be the last time we actually pull the kit off so I'm going to do that right now and then show you how it's all done. All right, so I actually filmed the stuff about the gas line before I did the exhaust. So the gas line and stuff like that will actually be in the next video. So as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Two, one.